Taylor, your second start now with the team. You've got a game under your belt. What lessons are you looking to take from the last game and maybe use in this one? Uh, I think you got to look at both the good and the bad things that uh, you can learn from. Um, uh, kind of, I'll probably just keep some of the stuff I'm working on with Tommy and uh, you know some of the good stuff, try to build on that and uh, try to get a win. You never have a lack of confidence, but would you say maybe you're a little more confident heading into your second game now that you kind of know what you're in for here? I think I'm going to disappoint you. I think I'm staying the same. Just ball's ball and same guy, so uh, just try to stack evidence of who I am and as a player. And I just don't try to prove anything. You know, I'm just out there playing ball. So, And, and you've gotten the chance to play at home once. Um, yep. What's it like playing in front of these fans and having them support you and hearing you cheer? Uh, I love I love playing here, man. I, I've said, said it in times uh, before. I, I really think the community supports us so much and uh, there's what I've been told like is when this thing's rocking this place is this place is loud and can be awesome so I you know I want nothing more than to get this place going and uh, get them uh, behind our back and uh, you know try to get a win so thank you yeah when you look at Montreal's defense do you, do you see things in there that without tipping your hand that you can exploit and that you can sort of do or take advantage of can you rephrase that somehow? What do you think you can do well against Montreal's defense? I don't. I don't know. I think we just got to be just got to be ourselves. You know, I don't want to get too much into it, but uh, you know, they're a great team, great defense, and this is like I've said before. This is <clears throat> this is like the type of D coordinator I want to play. I think Noel Thorpe's one of the best in the in the league, right? Um, presents a lot of different stuff, and I'm sure he's going to have some stuff for me. But you know, I'll be ready and. Uh, I love competing. I love. And I, just, I just love ball, man. And I can't wait to get out there and uh, put on a show. Can we expect to see you maybe run a bit more? Oh gosh, I don't know. We'll see. Now, will that be? I mean, without again tipping your hand, will it be designed runs, or will you be running to sort of buy yourself time to look downfield? You know, it's a great question. I'm not really sure for you. I mean, do, I know you're not afraid to run because you did against Toronto, but is your first inclining to look down, like to escape, if you have to escape the pocket, to look downfield and throw? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I, I like being, I like having the defense have to cover a lot of stuff, right? Yeah. Um, you know, I feel like I can add an element of extension and creativity that if they just want to, you know, if they're getting home, that I can help the old line out and uh, get out. And then, you know, if they just want to sit back all day, and then just be patient and get after him. So. And another division game too. How important are those in, in the overall scheme? Very important. You know, it's at home. Um, be, you know, we need to get this one. And uh, you know, I mean, everybody knows how important it is. I don't need to sit up here and say how vital it is to get a win. We know it's at stake, and we just got to go do it. Is establishing the run a key thing, key element for this offense? That, yeah, absolutely. We need to get nine going, get Reek going, and then, you know, find creative ways to, um, you know, establish the run game. And I think I think we got a great plan.